Hello, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. Gonna do another little vlog today about optimism. And now you can use optimism as a superpower. Here I am in Lock Park, Red Car, of my nine week holiday. I'm six weeks into it now with living in the UK. Little holiday to the UK from living in Thailand full time. So have a little walk around Lock Park and we'll discuss optimism and how you can use it as a superpower. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. <coughs> so, been here for six weeks and I've talked to quite a few subscribers here and uh, I've enjoyed the conversations. And in fact, one couple that I met, we sat and talked for 10 hours, 10 hours. What an interesting conversation it was with these two people who were thinking about moving over to Thailand. But it's nice to talk to positive people. And that's all about being optimistic in your life and your thinking. Because if you want to do it, you can make things happen. Um, I've gone through quite a few bad times in my life, but I've always been optimistic. And I've actually moved on from there, which you can do because at the end of the day, your life is in your hands. If you want to say, woe is me all the time, then nothing will happen. But if you actually get off your backside and do something, you can make things happen. And I've sort of done that all my life. And uh, I've helped many people on my YouTube channel get visas, move over to Thailand, find houses, etc, etc, etc. And that's what I like doing. I like helping people. I was in the fire service for 30 years and that's what I did. Somebody feeding all the ducks on oh, the squirrels and the swans. So surround yourself with positive people. If you mix with negative people and negative thoughts come your way and you'll get to hear plenty of people say, oh, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do the other. I've heard that so many times in my lifestyle living here in Redcar, that you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do the other. But if you're brave enough to do it, you can do. And I'll give you a few examples. Um, when I was 41 year old, I was a firefighter and I decided that we needed more money, which we did. And I decided to become an electrician. So at 41 year old, I went back to college to learn how to be an electrician. And I used to work for two days for free. In life, you can't expect everything for free. So, to get the knowledge, I worked two days a week, free, doing electrical work for a guy that I knew who worked in a, in a factory, and I got my industrial side of the electrics via him, working for free, two days a week. Everybody called me a mug. He said, nobody works for free. But after I got my qualification, sitting in guilds with distinction and credits, I opened my own electrical business and then I never looked back. I advertised for the first year and then I had other people ask me, how do you become an electrician? Can I work for you? This is because to see somebody actually getting off the backside and doing something. So there's many other things that I've done that people say you can't do that, you can't do this. Started a children's entertainment business. Couldn't face paint, I learned how to face paint. Temporary tattoos. So there are many, many opportunities for those who want to earn a little bit of extra money. Because let's face it, at the minute, with the credit crunch and the credit crisis, everybody needs to be able to earn a little bit more money. And by gaining some new skills, it is possible for you to be able to do that. So the power of optimism. I've got a free ebook with this. If you want the ebook, leave an email down below and I'll send you it about optimism and how you can learn optimism and how you can learn to be more successful. And you can. I live in Thailand now and I have done for 11 years. And coming back to England, it's just full of negativity with all of the, the strikes that are going on, the ambulances, the nurses, 
the doctors, the firefighters, the railway strikers, the sorry, the, the railway workers, not railway strikers, and the post office. There's not many more left, is there, before everybody's going on strike. So we can live a better life elsewhere. I'm not saying Thailand, but you can look at the world for those people who've retired. That you can actually live a better life, maybe he's outside of the UK. But you've got to go and do it. There's nobody going to grab you all by the hand and say, do this, do that and do the other. You live a perfect life. You've got to take some responsibility for your own life. Now I've met plenty of, of uh, negative people also with doing my YouTube channel, the haters and the trolls and things like that. And uh, everybody's open to their opinion, of course, and I read all the comments that come my way. And if they're negative, well, I'll read them also because it gives me my balanced view. I hope that I come across as a balanced view person, not one way or the other. So I, to, I listen also what other people say. And um, on the whole, that's what comes back on the, in the comments that I'm a fairly balanced guy and many people listen to what I have to say. And some people say it's a load of rubbish. But that's up to them, isn't it? So if you want to change your life, it is possible. If you want to to follow my channel, subscribe and leave a comment. And if you've got any questions whatsoever, have a look at my other videos. I've done many videos on divorce, uh, starting a business, many, many different things. I've got over 300 videos. So you could spend a good couple of hours watching the videos. And then leave a comment and see what you think. I'd be interested to see what the comments are. So from Les, in red car, ready to go back to Thailand, retired and living the dream till the next video, bye for now.